hi welcome to my youtube channel so please before you continue to watch this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for taking my time to create this video so today i'll be discussing how to resolve remote desktop connection problem so let's say you try to connect to remote desktop connection and you receive an error message that you could not connect to that computer so let's say for example i have um, a computer which is this very computer here so i'm going to connect to this computer from this other device so let's say i have actually here as you can see here's the um the the host name of the computer and here is the because this computer be, uh, belongs to a domain environment so he, this is the domain name so, I'm, so i'll try to connect to the computer and see which error message i'm going to get so here you can see i received the following error which says remote desktop connection so the remote desktop can't connect to the remote computer for one one of these reasons so it gives us three options probably why the remote desktop this um, computer could not connect to the remote computer one remote access to the server is not enabled the remote computer is turned off and the remote computer is not available on the network but first of all if we have to check to see okay we see that the computer is actually turned on and secondly it says the remote computer is not available on the network so to check if the computers are available on the network what you need to do um, you will have to ping this computer let me just go to the start and look for the command prompt and so let's try to ping this computer and see if the computer is available on the network so i'm going to ping this let me just ping c001 and let's see what happens so right now the computer is accessible which means this computer is on the same is on the network and the computer is turned on but you said the remote access to the server is not enabled so what we need to do let me just close this and now we can see that we can ping this computer so the computer is accessible over the network so but how can we resolve this issue so what you need to do you will need to go to the remote device here you can see and here we have to go to let me just go to my system system and here i'll go to my system info and we have the advanced system settings under your control panel home here in system so click the advanced system settings and if you are not um, a domain or an administrator or you are or you are not logged in or you're not the owner of this computer you need to provide your um, domain or administrator um, credentials so i will need to log on with my admin credentials so here in system properties i'm actually interested in remotes so click remote and here we can see under the remote desktop so we have the two we have two options one is the remote assistance and here we have the remote desktop so i was trying to actually connect to this computer using the remote desktop connection so here you can see that don't allow remote connection to this computer so which means this um, computer has been disabled for every other computer to, to be able to access this computer remotely so what we need to do is we need to click the allow remote connection to this computer and here you can see that um, i think it's very it's advisable to allow connection only from computer running remote desktop with network level authentication which means that the computer that wants to connect to this computer should belong to the same domain environment and again we can actually restrict users by only selecting specific user here you can see that kelvin johnson already has access so but i can as well add other users from my domain i can just do and find users so i can add users or group or security group to be able that should be able to access this computer just um let's assume that this is a software computer there's a specific software installed on this computer and you want only members of the help desk to be able to access this computer so you can actually um just allow only the help desk members to be able to access this computer so let me just click cancel cancel and here we're going to click apply and click ok so i'm going to try again to connect to this computer again from c002 so let's connect again Here you can see right now i'm able to access the computer so i'm going to just enter my password because here there you see on the c001 you see that i already have access to connect to that computer with my credentials so let me enter my password and click ok 
So it's trying to connect to that computer. So now it's saying another user is signed in. If you continue, they will be disconnected. You want to sign in anyway. So I'll just click yes. So right now, I will need to wait for Nora Johnson, who is signed onto this computer, to actually confirm. Here you can see that Nora will receive a message. So you need to ask Nora or the person who is logged onto that computer to actually confirm and just click OK. It says no action will, be, will disconnect your session in 30 seconds. So click OK. And automatically, you can see that Nora will be signed out and I will be signing into that computer. So right now I'm signing to C001 from C002. So I can actually control this computer from my remote, from my own computer. So right now you can see here I'm C001. I can as well close this and here I'll be connected to my C002, which is my own computer. And here's the remote computer. So that is how you resolved actually a remote desktop connection error if you are trying to sign into that computer. So mind you, if for example, this um, the remote desktop is actually um, configured to allow connection and still you could not connect, what you could actually do, you could actually check if your, do if your firewall is actually blocking access to that connection as well. And secondly, again, you should always check if your network if you're working in an um, enterprise environment in a company you should actually confirm from your network engineer if they have blocked remote access to that computer to um, computers in that domain so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and also if you need if you think you have any questions concerning windows 10 windows server sscm microsoft intune or Mac office 365 and um, any it related subject please you can always send me an email i'm going to leave my email below this video so that i'll respond to you as quick as possible thank you very much and see you next time bye